Hi and welcome back to Modern Day Lucy. Today I'm going to be talking about traveling with your baby. I am having an opportunity to travel tomorrow. I'm going to take a flight with my daughter to California and so I just wanted to show you guys what I'm going to bring and hopefully it will help you if you plan to travel with your infant. Um, it's going to be a relatively short flight so I haven't gone really overboard but anything that I'm bringing um, you can use when if you're traveling for a longer distance. So this is my diaper bag. It's fully loaded. Um, I also am putting my purse in here. It's not my normal purse but I'm just gonna bring something smaller um, that way it's easier to travel with and since I'm traveling by myself and I don't have my husband with me on this trip um, I just wanted to make it easy and more compact so I'll show you what I have in here so this is my bag right um, so essentials like chapstick I have some gum this is just a little bag with like lip glosses and stuff in there um, which technically I might need to uh, separate this because I'll be on the airplane and sometimes they like you know liquids well they always like liquids separated but Lip glosses, they're not normally super picky about. Um, you got some lotion. Sorry, the camera keeps going blurry. There we go. Love Bath and Body Works. Bath and Body Works. I have my checkbook. Um, my sunglasses. Put these bad boys on for you. Uh... And then I have some mommy candy here. <laughs> no, I just got some sour gummy worms in case I was craving something sweet. And then there's just a pin in here. So that's kind of my small purse that I'll be using while I'm on this trip. It's just for about four days. Um, I'll be coming back on a Thursday and I'm leaving on a Monday. So there's that. And then I have um, something more nutritious. I have a granola bar here. And then I have my wallet um, and a hairbrush. So that's in like my side pocket. And then there's kind of a front pocket here to the diaper bag. And oops, my sunglasses. That's where I am going to keep all of her books. So I like to bring a cloth book and this is really good for like if you're at a restaurant or somewhere where it might get dropped. Um, because it's cloth it's really easy to wash which is nice uh, because of you know just germs and things. So I have that and then I brought um, four of her favorite books. So this one she's just loved since she was little. This is kind of a newer one. I just picked it up at the Dollar Tree uh, a little while ago, so she's not super familiar with this one. And then this one she loves because it's touch and feel. And she loves this Dr. Seuss book too. So as you can see, these are all pretty small, which is really nice to have. Um, and you don't have to do this many books, but depending on your kid, like Violet, she loves books so I wanted to make sure that I have plenty of those for the flight because that will keep her entertained and happy but if your child isn't really into books but likes you know toys and things like that um, more so than books then maybe stock up more on those um, I have my cell phone of course and then I have diapers um, there's just like two or three in here so depending on how old your baby is. Mine's almost 11 months, so she doesn't need a change often, but if it's a newborn, then you're gonna wanna bring like five or six or more, depending on your flight. Um, and then I have the changing pad. I have a book for me. Um, right now I'm reading this book called Kisses from Katie. And it's a really good book if you haven't read it. I haven't finished it yet, but it's about a young lady that um, starts an orphanage in Uganda. So that's a good book because my baby's gonna sleep the whole flight, right? <laughs> no, that's just in case something like that happens to keep me entertained. 
Um, I have sunscreen, and then, so, in, in one little, sorry, it keeps going blurry. Just a second. Okay, I cleaned off the screen, so hopefully that is better. Um, Alright, so as I was saying, there's little, normally, like, pockets inside of your diaper bag. Um, so in those side pockets, I have the sunscreen, and then in a different side pocket, I have a burp rag. Um, my baby doesn't really spit up anymore, but this is just in case something happens. And then her little sunglasses. We are going to California after all, so she'll need her shades. And then on this side pocket, um, I have her uh, diaper changing essentials. So I have wipes. This is kind of a weird, I have it in a Ziploc bag because I buy bulk wipes from Costco and Huggies doesn't put them in like individual containers. So I just have them in a plastic bag right now. And I have diaper rash cream. This is the A&D cream. If you haven't seen my product review video, you should check it out. I talk about different products that um, work and don't work. So that's one that does. I'll be bringing that. And then I have a spare binky. Okay, and then on the other inside pocket, I have her toys. So. Um, this is one that she likes. It's a good teething toy. And I have this one. You can put these in the refrigerator and get them cold. Um, helps them when they're teething. I have a sun hat for her. Um, I could put this in my main bag, but I just keep it, you know, handy in my diaper bag. And I have this old retro rattle. She actually really likes it. Um, I had this from when I was a baby, actually. And then more teething toys. This one. And then this one. She doesn't play with these a whole lot, but if she seems to be wanting something like this, at least I have a few different options for her. Um, this is quite a lot of, of toys, but... I'm also kind of just packing them along because I will be, you know, staying in, in California and I want something for her to play with, so um, these aren't all just for the flight, but if it fits, I figure it's fine. It's not too heavy, and um, like I said, if your baby is more into these teething type toys, then just stock up on her favorites. Um, it's tempting to just, like, bring a ton of toys. But if your baby doesn't play with it on a day-to-day -day basis, then don't bring it because you're just bringing extra things that you're going to have to carry around on your shoulder and it's just not worth it. So uh, those are in another side pocket. And then in the main area, um, I had the diapers and then my book. I also brought a, whoops, a magazine. Um, it's an older magazine, but I haven't gotten to read it yet, and it's about summer, so bringing that. And then I have my um, nursing cover, so I have two because one has um, this, I forget what it's called, but it's like the bendable plastic in it, which is easier to watch your baby while you're nursing, and then this one doesn't, but it's bigger, so there's more coverage. So I just like to have both um, because I don't know, you know, what my seating is going to be like. And if I'm, if I'm going to be sitting right next to somebody and I need to nurse, then I'll probably use the cover that has um, more coverage just in case, you know. And then we have baby snacks. So I have this compartment. Um, this is more so for like formula and rice cereal. But I'm using it right now for snacks because it can be for that as well. So there's three different chambers. So I have some Cheerios and then the rest is filled with um, like little munchers, I think is what they're called. They're kind of like cheese flavored snacks and she really likes those. So um, I'm bringing these and then I also 
have this from Beech Nut. It's Fruities on the Go. This one's banana, apple, and strawberry puree. And she has never had this before, but I think it's going to be really easy for her on the airplane because it's just a twistable top. And then she can just kind of suck on it and, and suck the um, baby food out. So I'm going to give this a try. Hopefully it works. I have one for the flight there and one for the flight home. So I'm going to do the fruit one on the way there and then I think probably the veggies one on the way back home on Thursday. So I have that. Um, it's not a ton of snacks but it's a short flight so it's not necessary to bring like rice cereal but if I was flying in the evening or overnight then I would definitely make sure to have um, rice cereal and more baby food with me but since she's still nursing um, I don't need to bring that and it's we're gonna have a morning flight. And then in the other side pocket here I have her uh, sippy cup that's full of water right now. Of course, I'll empty it before we go through security so that um, this doesn't cause a problem. And I will have um, either the flight attendant fill it up or I can fill it up once I'm um, through security. So that is what I have packed in my diaper bag and purse for the airplane flight with a baby under one. Um, I hope to video a little bit tomorrow as well just to show you guys how I kind of fold everything up to um, get on the airplane and what I do when I leave the stroller and everything at the gate that just um, keeps things together so that things don't get lost. So I will see you guys soon. Okay, so obviously it's a different day. Um, I wasn't able to finish the video when I first started. Um, recording so it's a different day but I'm going to pick up where I left off so you want to pack books some toys that are low noise a blanket um, snacks and their sippy cup or water bottle um, and then you want to bring um, a thermometer Tylenol Pedialyte um, and then sunblock as well so a lot of that stuff I keep already in my diaper bag but you just want to remember to pack a lot of that stuff with you when you're traveling. Um, another tip that I wanted to talk to you guys about is uh, packing up the stroller because you typically leave the car seat and the stroller in the gate before you board your airplane. Um, my baby's talking in her sleep. <laughs> I was just listening to the monitor. So um, a few things that we learned I'd love to pass on to you guys because we kind of learned the hard way at first. Um, with our stroller, it has a car seat adapter to it, which I'll show you. So here's the car seat adapter. Um, this is what it looks like. And originally we just, um, well, we I don't know what we did exactly with it, but we left it in with our stroller and when we went to the baggage area or actually after our plane landed and we went to go um, pick up the stroller and everything it's all waiting for you right at the gate when you get off the airplane um, the adapter wasn't with our stuff and we were like oh no what are we gonna do because we can't uh, put the car seat in without the adapter. So we told the flight attendant people and they're like, oh, okay, well, we'll go look for it. So they went and looked for it. It took them a few minutes. Thankfully, we didn't have a short connection um, and they ended up finding it. So that was good. But um, just a tip, this is what I would recommend you do um, if you have an adapter and you're bringing it with you on the airplane. Since I didn't get to record while I was actually at the airport at the gate, I'm going to show you right now what it's like. And I want to um, also give you a little tip that when you are um, waiting at the gate to board, you want to go ahead and get on, get your carry-on luggage tags. Um, this one's kind of ripped off, but you're going to need one for your car seat and your stroller and anything else that you might have. Yeah. Tell us all about it. So I'm going to show you what you're going to do. So you're going to pull up to the gate. The first thing you'll do is take the baby out of the stroller. So just take the car seat and go ahead and set them down. And this is the adapter for the car seat. So this is what can get lost. So what I do is I take it off 
and I put it down here in this pocket. Make sure it's really secure in there. Okay. And then you're going to fold your stroller up. Sometimes with this in the pocket, it can get all caught. Watch out for that. And make sure that you and close it with all the right straps. So you're gonna secure everything. And if you have a different stroller, the process obviously is gonna be a little different, but that way the airman can just pick everything up and your base is attached to there. Okay, so that's ready to go. And then you have your little baby. Hi. <laughs> and then you're going to take your baby out. Okay, let's go on the airplane. And you can leave everything like that because that's how they put it into the airplane anyways. And then you're ready to board. <laughs> say hi. Have a safe flight. Can you say bye-bye? Bye-bye. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe and check out the other videos. Yeah, good job. Violet's just hanging out while we wait for our flight. Because it was delayed. Yeah. So she's going through her diaper bag, rearranging. Yeah. Oh. Got all my stuff here. It's a nice rainy day, which delayed our flight. Come oh, on, baby girl. You're gonna fall out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>